I put one in my mouth and a bit down and it exploded juice in my mouth and it was just like no no <laughs>
I really, really, really enjoy this. Uh, I used to use the um, Maybelline um, hydration one, but I just found that this one was a little bit better. Hang on, I just lost my little trusty mirror. So, while we're doing that, um, question number four. Um, well, it's not really a question, it's a fact, and this is a fact one. Uh, fact number four. I have a huge memory for music lyrics. So, <laughs> You know, people can be talking and it'll sound like a song and I'll just randomly start singing and I know that's probably really, really annoying. I mean, look, I've got a pretty big memory anyway, um, but music lyrics, they just, I don't know, they just, they get in there and they stay in there. And if I like the beat of a song, I'll look up the lyrics and I'll learn it and I'll learn it on t until it's in there, you know, and um, <laughs> yeah, so it's quite fun. I really, really enjoy music, everything about it, and um, yeah, we just wish I could play it better, you know. <laughs> anyway, alright, that's done, that feels really, really nice. Got a nice coconutty scent to it as well, we're gonna get that out of the way, because I've only got a really small table. So, fact number five. Ha. Huh. Let me see. Hmm. I love poker. And I think I'm pretty damn good at it as well. And it is about the only thing that will stop my overthinking mind. And I think it's because you have to sort of think about a lot of possibilities or anything like that. Um, you know, there's a lot of brain function and it. it's not just playing the cards, it's playing the people as well. So I'll be looking around and I'll be looking at people's faces and their reactions and their micro expressions and everything like that. And nothing else matters. So all my dramas and problems in the world, they're just gone. It's just all on the game. And I think that's why I love playing it so much. And possibly why I'm so darn good at it. So, um, yeah, so that's, uh, that's a fun fact. Let's move on. What have we got? Um, ah, fact number six. I hate travelling. Like, the physical part of travelling. Like, getting in a vehicle and driving those long hours to get to the destination. But I want to travel the world. I, I want to do it by boat, I want to do it by plane, I'm not really interested in doing it by car, but I'd love to do it by motorbike, like, I'd love to go around the coast of Australia on a really, really suave motorbike, I don't know, I don't know, it's just a thing for now, <laughs> anyway, moving on, I'm going to use a Maybelline foundation today, um, I've got the, what are you, the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour full foundation, uh, in the shade, I have no idea, True Ivory, so number three, it's all in tiny little writing, and these lights are like so bright, I hope you can see everything, so anyway, I'm going to use my trusty Eco Tool sponge, it's the only sponge that I use at the moment, really want to get on to using that, um, Allo, well, buying that Allo Cosmetic sponge, I've heard a lot of good things about it, and um, I'm going to have to use my little mirror here, I've heard a lot of good things about the Allo Cosmetic sponges, and um, honestly, I would really like to see what the hype is about, but... I have to wait until the finances are there. So, in the meantime, this Eco Tool sponge, it's the bomb. And I don't know any different. I mean, look, I've got a um, Real Techniques, I'm going to have to use this mirror. I've got a Real Techniques sponge, and I've tried that, and I don't like it. And I have a uh, Juno and Co um, sponge, you know, that blue fluff, fluffy sponge. I don't like that either. So, but this one, really, really nice. So, I am going to try the um, Ella Cosmetics, but for now, my $10 Eco Tool sponge does everything I need it to do. So, now look, this says that it's a full cover foundation. My personal opinion is it's medium cover. Mm, I never really actually checked to see whether it's. um. Buildable. Oh, I look like a white ghost. Hi! <laughs> uh, this is my winter shade, so I hope it's going to work because I don't have a tan right now. Now, anyway, let's move on. I love that um, foundation. It's not like, you know, high end or anything, but right. So, fact number seven. I've had tons and tons and tons of nicknames, but none of them have stuck, like, to the point where multiple people call me the same nickname. Like, I know a lot of people and every single one of them has a different nickname for me. So, um, you know, whereas one person will call me Frog, 
um, because my hands were all clammy and wet when I was younger. Um, another person will call me Mouse. Another person will call me TNT, which stands for Touch and Tickle, which is one that I got in high school. And, and I don't know. I know it sounds really bad, but it's not. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so look, I, I've got a lot, a lot of nicknames, and um, the one that I like the most, and I use myself, um, if you follow any of my other pages, is Mouse. So, um, yeah, lots of nicknames, but for different people. <laughs> Alright, look, that's pretty much blended as much as I'm going to blend that, so thank you very much. Fact number eight. Oh, I hate repetitive noises, like when somebody is like you know, tapping their fingers or just just repetitive, unnecessary noises, they drive me nuts. Like, do you have to? Fact number nine. Mm. I'm an introvert, but if you put me in a room full of introverts, quiet people who really just don't feel comfortable, I turn into the extrovert. So I guess that classes me as an introverted extrovert or an extroverted introvert. I don't know. Is there another word for it? I think there is. Ambivert? I don't know. Let me know down below if you know the name for someone who's naturally an introvert but can be quite extroverty at times. So, alright, let's move on. What are we going to do next? So, I got quite a lot of dark circles under my eyes. Um, I've got two concealers and the only concealer, it's the same brand, so, but did you hear me tongue tie them? They're both from Maybelline. Now, I have the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in... Fair Claire and the Maybelline Fit Me in Fair Claire. Fun fact, bonus, these are two different colours, yet they've got the same shade name from the same company. So this one's more peachy and this one's more yellow. So, mm, um, I'm going to go with the peachy one under the eyes and because even though some people think that this um, spongy applicator is gross, I don't have acne, I don't have sores or anything like that. So me just putting it under, it's not a real big deal for me. So, um... That's what I'm going to do. So let's move on. Uh, fact number 10. Huh. I'm 33 years old and I still don't know what dream job um, is right for me. You know, like I've had a lot of um, things that I've been interested in trying. I didn't click it up. Um, you know, once upon a time I wanted to be a photographer. Once upon a time I wanted to be um, working with animals. Um, another time... I wanted to travel and be a, um, what do you call it, a paranormal activity videographer, I guess, so to speak. I need my sponge again. Um, but I guess if somebody said right now that I had to pick a job and I could pick any job in the world, it would be one of two things. It would be a professional toy tester, yes, toys, kids' toys, babies' toys, toddlers' toys, bigger kids toys, any any toy, or um, working with baby animals, and um, any baby animals, it doesn't matter what it is, uh, you know, uh, elephants, dogs, cats, birds, reptiles, you know, um, <laughs> any baby animals, yes, I would be into that, definitely, oh, I'm just going to put some on my eyes there, so as you can see, I'm not really doing anything fancy, can't really tell too much whether it's shade matched me or not. Moving on. Fact 11. Oh. Have you watched Child's Play? Do you know the doll that I'm talking about? I am absolutely obsessed with Chucky. I have multiples of his, um, what are they, 30 centimetre um, plush dolls. So I've got a talking one. Um, I've got one that's got a messed up face. Um, and recently, I just got um, his bride, Chucky's bride, Tiffany. So I'm really looking forward to um, eventually showing you guys that. But I love Chucky. I've got all of his movies. Um, I don't know. I just... I'm obsessed with horror and I just a living doll, an evil living doll. I think he takes the cake. What can I say? So we're going to move on to bronzing, I guess. Bronzing? Should be bronzing? Yeah. Alright, so I've got two. I, um, I'm pretty fair, as you know, and I have the Butter Bronzer in, Ma oh, I can't say this, in, well, it's Bronzer Bronzer, Muramu Butter Bronzer, 
And I also have a Body Shop one in the shade 1, light matte. Um, so I'll give you a little looky at both of those. Don't mind that. Uh, lately I've been enjoying the um, Butter Bronzer. I've gotten rid of that nasty... Oh, um, co oh, like coconutty latan sort of smell and um, like for the most part it's still there like if I really really sniff it but it doesn't really transfer now on the face so I'm going to do that now moving on to fact or question number 12 hmm. I kind of already answered this I would love to be a criminal psychological profiler is that Oh, no, I don't sound smart enough to be one, eh? Uh, a, uh, God. A criminal psychological profiler. I would love to profile for the police. Uh, I love psychological thrillers. I love anything to do with, um, you know, the brain and figuring people out and understanding how they tick, how they work and everything like that. And, um, yeah, I'd love to do that. And I don't know if it's too late to start, but I'm going to get my little trusty... Thingy here, my thingy, um, I'm gonna get my trusty mirror here and answer another one. Oh, this is, this is a little bit darker, this one. Um, I've nearly died multiple times in my life. Um, <laughs> whether they have been swimming accidents, um, or giving birth to my middle child. Uh, well, I actually did die then. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, multiple times. I've almost not been here. And um, yeah, look, it does give you an appreciation on life, but it doesn't always mold you. Is that quite dark? It looks quite dark. I love this one. The other one I think is just a little bit too light, and I might end up having to hand that one down, unfortunately. I do love it, um, but I love this butter bronzer a lot more. I think it's subtle, but it's not too subtle that I can't see it on the skin, so. And I'll just dust it a little bit under there because I've got a little bit of a double chin happening lately. So, not exactly flattering. But let's move on to fact four. Ha! Oh, my favourite animal. Well, mmm. Mmm. Does it have to be real? Can it be a fantasy one? Can I say dragons? I'm going to say dragons. I love dragons. I would love to have a dragon. But no, um, well, look. I've got little tiny hairs. This is not a great brush. This is a no-name $2 brush, so, hmm. I think it's time to invest in some, um, new tools. That's not enough. I want more. Please, sir, can I have some more? Quote the movie. <laughs> anyway, oh gosh, is that copyrightable? My bad. Alright. Yeah, okay, that looks not too bad. To me, anyway, in my mirror. That will do. Alright, did I answer that fact? Yes, yes. Uh, but um, in real life, like your general domesticated sort of animal, I would have to say dogs. Um, I love cats as well, but cats are so temperamental and when I want attention from my animal, it's like now, you know, so I'm kind of like a cat, but I like the instant dog attention. And you know what, I had a cat that was just like a dog, and it was a dream, <laughs> and I absolutely loved her. So, um, ran her down in the street a couple of years ago, and uh, yeah, hasn't been the same since, but she was, she was a great cat, and um, not, but no, I love dogs, I love cats, but dragons, dragons, yes, yes, yes. Alright, moving on. So what am I going to do? I'm going to do a blush, am I? Yeah, I'm feeling a blush today. So, we'll move that out of the way. I'm going to use um, a Manica Dar blush, and it's in the shade Blossom. It's actually a blush and highlighter. It's a, th like, step three. I don't know. I just, I, I like to swish it all around and use it. It's beautiful. Um, and it's not too in your face. So, while we're doing that, we'll get another one. Ooh, okay. My favourite YouTube channels. So, there's three that I'll generally go and watch every day or whenever they pump them out and that is, give me a minute, um, it's a girl called Cassie and her channel is called Thrift Thick and she is, she's amazing, I love her. 
she talks about a lot of different things. Um, she does a lot of online clothes shopping, um, op shopping or thrift shopping. Um, she used to do mukbangs, which was like an eating sort of thing. So you could sit there if you like eat alone and stuff like that and want a company. You could sit there and listen to her and, you know, feel like that you were sort of, um, you know, that you had some company. She talks about a lot of things about makeup and stuff like that. And I just really like her personality. I think she's fantastic. So if I could have a friend in real life, it would be her. Um, but yeah, so... Um, yeah, that's Cassie thrift, thrift thrift fix. Wow. Whoa. Okay, I got a little bit ham on the um <laughs> on the uh, blush here, didn't I? Oh well, my better. I'll fix it up in a minute. Um, and the other two, the other two are actually um best friends, really. Um, they are Cat and Haley from the Beauty News Channel, but they also have their own channels. And Cat's is called. Oh, I actually can't pronounce it. Kit Snitch something. I don't know. I'll put the um, name up here for you. And the other one, Haley's channel, is Just By The Makeup. Um, both fantastic. I love both their content. They pump out similar things, but they've both got a different style. Love them both. Fantastic. Would also be their friends. And they are in Australia, but uh, I, I don't know. I think they're a little bit too cool for me. So um, I'm not saying that um, Cassie's not. I think that I would just get along with Cassie a lot more. Um, like, we would have a lot more in common, um, yeah, so, check them out, guys, absolutely love those girls. Alright, so, jeez, we're only up to, uh, fact 16, I better hurry this up a bit. Um, my favourite current actor, well, hello, Jason Momoa, um, ha, could it be anybody else? I mean, jeez, although, did you see that he's actually shaved off his beard? Like, uh, no, mm -mm, no. Jason Momoa, but like before he shaved everything off, yeah. Because I don't get me wrong, I like the, the the shaved face look, but not with him. Like that was the whole purpose, you know, the long hair and the tan skin and the facial hair and the. Mm. Yes. Let's move on, shall we? All right. So, um, fact seventeen. My favorite color is blue. Can you not tell the blue background and you know? Um, I look at honestly, I believe it's because my eyes are blue and I like the colour of them. I actually like my eyes. I always have. Um, and yeah, it's just sort of stuck. I've never sort of changed. I mean, don't get me wrong, purple's next in line, but blue. Yeah. So let's keep going. I mean, I know pff, I could be finished my makeup, you know, very very quickly. So we're gonna race through these just a little bit faster. So, all right, fact number 18, my favourite movies are psychological thrillers. I also said that earlier on, so that sort of like covered that one already. Mmm, fact 19, my nightmare movies. Ooh, 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 what do I not want to watch? Don't put a western on for me. Don't put a boring drama on for me. Mm. Oh, and no, no musicals, like, hell no, no. I mean... Have I lit? I mean, I've watched quite a few of them because I've had to with school and stuff like that when I was younger. But is there any musical that I really? No. Frozen. That's about as close to a musical as I'm gonna get me. So yeah, yeah, no. Hmm. As I don't have a problem with music, but music and movies. No. All right. <laughs> Let's go again. Oh. Interesting fact, and it's always been the same. Like, I'm looking around now to make sure there's none there. I'm arachnophobic. I hate spiders. Like, it, it, it can be the tiniest spider, and I'll tell someone it's it's freaking huge, right? Mm. Um, white tails, it's gotta be my biggest one. Redbacks, next. Huntsmen's that chase you. Like, uh, I don't mind huntsmen's. The huntsmen's can stay in their, uh, like, in their corner, like, they can stay at the top half of the roof or the, or the, the house. But if they go below, like what I would class as midway down, you're gone, right? You cross, you cross the boundaries. Like we're not friends. Um, but no, look, they they get rid of um, white tails and redbacks and stuff like that. So if they can stay up in their own little corner, we're good. Um, the only one that I'm sort of not really afraid of so much. I mean, look, if I see it and it crawls on me, I'm like, Rah! right? But um, <laughs> I'm not. I don't really, really hate um, daddy long legs or um, those itty bitty little money spiders and. Those little bouncing spiders. Don't have a problem with those either, but everything else, bye. Nope, you <laughs> So, okay, moving on. All right, that was, that was fact 20, so we're getting somewhere. Um, fact 21. Oh, oh, this one's fun. Another one, it's another phobia. I am afraid of heights. Like, 
put me up somewhere high, I'm going to cling to. Um, but strangely enough, I love roller coaster rides. I, I love to be up high. I like to have the shit scared out of me, but I guess that's what it is. I love the adrenaline that I get when I'm up high, but it scares the shit out of me. So, yeah. All right, let's move on. Let's start doing some more makeup. Now, what am I going to do? I'm going to do my eyebrows, I reckon. So I'm going to be using the, to start off with, the e.l.f. brow pencil. And, um... I don't know if I can tell you the shade in this, it's just brown man, so I don't know, I think it's dark brown. So let's keep looking. Um, fact number 22, I love cooking, but I'd never go on a cooking show. I love to watch cooking shows like um, My Kitchen Rules and... Um, what's the other one? Master Chef, right. Um, love that sort of stuff, but everybody says, oh, why don't you apply? I don't like intense, stressful situations. I don't like to be under the pump. My best cooking is not done, oops, is not done um, under pressure. It's done because of love. So um, I do love to experiment. I love to, I like to people please with my food. So I'm not going to do a hell of a lot with my eyebrows today because I don't want them to be like, bam, like in your face. But if I don't do anything at all, um, half of my eyebrows you just don't see, so it looks like that I've done like this little bit and just nothing down the end, so I do want to just shape them a little bit so we can actually see that I do indeed have some eyebrows and that they're relatively even. Let me see, Whew. maybe a little bit too dark. Let's just, um, minimal, Tanya, minimal. Let's just fluff them out just a little bit. I have brush hairs on my forehead. Get off, get off. There we go. Alright, so ordinarily I would go in with the L'Oreal Paris Brow Artist Plumper. So this bad boy, absolutely love it. I might just a tiny, tiny bit and we will move on to fact... 23 which is what I would love to go on the TV show Survivor but if I was going to play being my normal self I don't think I could win but I love those obstacle course oh God, God, I'm too far. I love those obstacle course kinds of game shows and um, not just game shows I would love to be in something that had obstacle courses and it didn't need to be on TV or anything like that. I just love obstacle courses. In fact, there's something um, there's something called Tough Mudder that um, I was shown, pointed out to this year um, by an ex-sister-in-law actually. And um, <laughs> well, she's doing it this year and I've had a few problems with my ankles and so I really didn't think that I was going to be able to commit to something like that this year but next year I'm thinking about doing it so if you live in Australia and you like obstacle courses have a look at Tough Mudder so I would really like to do that next year either way I'm going to get do it I'm gonna do it it's either gonna be next year it's gonna be the year after but it's gonna be freaking epic I, I'm actually I'm really excited about it like just the idea of, yes 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 we don't need to talk about that we've got enough to talk about because fact number ooh, let me see let me see Fact number 24, I'm obsessed with waterfalls. I want to see almost every waterfall that there is. I know I'd never be able to. There's so much that I want to do, but when I do plan on traveling, um, when the kids are a little bit older and stuff like that, and they, you know, sort of fly the nest a little bit, I guess, and I do travel, I want to go and see a whole bunch of waterfalls. I want to see um, Niagara Falls, yes, Niagara Falls. I want to go to Tasmania and see a couple of waterfalls there. Look, I just know there's a lot of beautiful waterfalls in the world and I want to see them all and I know I don't have enough time. So I am going to go and see some of the bigger ones, some of the ones that are, you know, um, oversold a little bit, over-advertised, I guess, you know, cliche, I guess, I don't know, but I want to see. Definitely, definitely Niagara Falls. So that's happening. All right. Oh, <sighs> Another fun fact, I love coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee. I love coffee. But um, the weird part is, is that I don't like cafe coffees, you know, with the... No. Nah. Um, I like Makuna. So I like to make a nice cup of hot coffee at home, kick back, relax. Um, yeah, I guess 
I just don't like cafe style coffees and I don't like foam cups and I hate it when they burn the coffee and so yeah. <laughs> In fact, I should have coffee right here, but I don't. Um, what am I going to do next? You know, I forgot to put some um, highlighter on, so I reckon we'll do that next. Now, I've got these two Becca um, mini Macron highlighters. I actually got four of them in the gift thingy that they did last year. Was it last year? Yeah, it was last year. Anyway, I don't regret my purchases. And I've got Vanilla Quartz, um, which is... I love every single one of them, by the way. Vanilla Quartz, which is this colour here. Sorry for the flashback. Um, I like to use that one sort of like on my inner corner. And I've got Rose Quartz. So, um, I know I'm wearing blush. And that blush had a little bit of sort of like highlighter in it. It's a little bit, a little bit strong, isn't it? I might actually buff that out a little bit. Just a, a little bit, yeah. Because this rose um, quartz is obviously it's rose, you know, it's got a little bit of colour in it, and I'm going to put that on as a highlighter and a little bit of a blush topper as well because I love it. So I don't know whether you're going to see it in the lights. I'll try and. I've got like a ring light, box lights, and everything like that, so I've got to use my mirror. I'm not going anywhere today. I just. I needed a little bit of therapy, and um, that's why I thought I'd do this little fun video, so. And I mean, I can tell you about some of these products as well, so. Probably shouldn't put the rose one on the tip of my nose, but. Whatever. <laughs> Alright, so, what's the next question? Ah, oh, if there's one thing that I wouldn't buy from the supermarket. Ooh, guilty pleasure, squirms. Have you had squirms? Mm, geez. There are these little tiny worms, they're like sour worms and they're coated in sugar and they are so soft and if I open up a bag of them, oh, I'm going to eat the whole thing, I'm going to sit there and I am going to scoff and I can't help it, I can't stop myself. Mm -mm. I don't buy squirms. My partner buys them when he knows that I'm having like a particularly bad day or you know it's coming to that time of month and um, I can tend to get a bit sulky and Squirms will cheer me up. They really, really will. So, um, it used to be mini M&Ms, but then I so got over those, and I think it's because I found squirms. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, and I'm buying myself because I've put on quite a little bit of weight lately, and I'm trying to remove that. And So that's one thing that needs to stay at the supermarket for me. Um, uh, what is your favourite takeaway? Hmm. Pizza. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying, yeah? Pizza. All the way. Yep, you can have your Maccas, or what is it that you call it over there? Maccas still? McDonald's? Yeah? Uh, keep your Burger King. Um, what should we call? Where are we? I can't even... Hungry Jacks. Is Burger King and Hungry Jacks the same thing? I think it is, yeah, right? Look, don't get me wrong, I love KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken, but you know what? Their burgers... Their burgers are really going downhill over the last couple of years, and so really the only thing that I like from KFC now is their popcorn chicken and their um, chips, and only because of the thickness of them and the chicken salt, but no, pizza. Pizza doesn't disappoint me, so like, mm, mm hmm Yes, pizza, pizza, pizza. Alright. Fact number 28. Believe it or not, I'm sure you can believe this. I've been a tomboy all my life. I do have a feminine side, obviously, but... I prefer to talk about working on cars and um, blokey sort of things more than, you know, which handbag I want to buy and I love those shoes. I just, I, don't, I do like shopping, don't get me wrong. Um, and obviously I like makeup, I'm not that good at it, which would probably go towards showing you that how much of a tomboy I am. Um, but yeah, no, and I don't have a problem with that. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to say, like, I'm not confused or anything like that. I know I'm a tomboy, but I know I have a feminine side. It is what it is. So, uh, what's a dessert you really don't care for? <laughs> Easy, ice cream. Nah. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, I like a good ice cream. Like, it's got to be gourmet. Like, we're talking, you know, some sort of cafe latte, smooth and creamy ice cream, or like a triple chocolate something, you know, like really gelatinous, well-balanced ice cream, but if you go down the store and you get me like, you know, that cheap and nasty ice cream that's got ice particles in it, mm, 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 no. Ice cream just really doesn't do it for me. I'm not the kind of person to grab a tub and just eat it out of that. Like, I honestly thought that they only did that in the movies and then I found out that females actually do that. Okay. I eat pizza in bed. <laughs> that's a thing. So, um, yeah, alright, let's move on. 
I will put some more makeup on in a minute, but we have a lot of questions, right? So, um, oh, I've covered this one too. My dream job as a, a young child was a paranormal videographer. And um, I actually started working with a family friend and doing wedding photography. And um, it was great, like, you know, um, but I just didn't continue to pursue it. So, I don't know, I just went through that weird teenage phase and I just I sort of... I let it go, you know, we do these things, so whatever. Moving on, um, hmm, I have a tendency, no matter where I go, no matter where we eat, that um, I will order for the first time at that restaurant a chicken parmigiana, and if they screw that up, I probably won't go back, because if you screw up a chicken parmigiana, it's really, I don't have much faith that you can cook anything else better. So the Palmer is always generally my first go, unless unless I see something that's like, mmm, unique, you know, like, or something that really, really like jumps out at me, like, I don't know, some sort of 48 hour smoky pulled pork, you know, something really, really special. But most of the time it's the Palmer. And um, yeah, there you go. All right, so anyway, let's move on to eyes. I've been using the I Heart Revolution Chocolate Violet Palette. Um, lately and oh excuse that um it's not my favorite palette in the world i mean it's not hor it's far better than some of the other palettes that i used to get from like the drugstore and stuff like that uh i'm not even going to mention any names but there's one shade in here particularly that i've been enjoying which is this one here which is levity and um levity yeah levity and it's not like you know um really really pigmented or anything like that but it's just a nice one and done sort of shade I guess um, that I like to put all over the eye so I'll, while I'm putting that on I will answer some more questions so um, let me see fact number 32 your favorite artist well um, in, in music I guess um, I like a lot of music and I, I mean I've said that before let me just grab a brush so it's a real technique. I got this little fluffy brush here from Real Technique. Uh, not Real Techniques. Eco Tools. My bad. Anyway, um, yeah, like I said, I love a lot of music, but um, my favorite artist, and I mean, I, I can say this with no question because I love every single song she's ever made, and I can't say that about any other artist, and that's Pink. Um, Alicia is her real name. I can't remember her last name. I'm obsessed with her, but I can't remember her last name because I'm not like one of those like screaming, raging fans, but I, I love her. And um, I don't know, I've just been able to sort of um, relate to every song that she's ever brought out at the time that she's brought it out. And she's got me through quite a lot of tough times. So definitely love Pink. So um, yeah, even the music that she's bringing out now, like I honestly thought after she had her first kid that she was gonna sort of pack it up or she was gonna sort of change the way that she sings, but she doesn't, she's just gotten better. So I'm not gonna say. Do I have a role model? Do you know what? I don't. Um, isn't that strange? Like, as much as I like Pink, like I told you just a moment ago, I wouldn't say that she would be my role model. I mean, I, I think she's a top chick, to be honest with you. But I think, in a weird way, and I'm not trying to sound up myself or anything like that, but I'm my role model. Does that sound right? Like, I try and be the best version of me I possibly can. I uh, have an idea of what kind of person I actually want to be, and that's what I aim for, to make myself better and better of a person every single day. So, um, my role model is me. Just a better version of me. So, um, yeah, can you see that colour? I love it, I love it. So that's Levity in the um, I Heart Revolution's Chocolate Violet Palette absolutely gorgeous and I mean I could just do like I said just a one and done look with this but I am actually going to deepen it in the corner not with anything that's in this palette because I just I haven't practiced much with this sort of palette and there's nothing in there that I want to use to deepen the inner corner um the outer corner sorry so yeah I love that so let's go um the next one ah Happiest day in my life. Well, look, as much as I loved the day that I had all three of my boys, I think the most excited I was other than that, it was when I got off the aeroplane at Queensland. I always, always wanted to go to Queensland. 
just the theme parks, you know, like I'm a theme park fanatic and I hadn't been to any as a child, not really, I mean, other than Luna Park, which is a small Melbourne sort of like, well, it's not small, it's small in comparison to like your Disneylands and all that sort of stuff, but it's the biggest one that we sort of have, um, that I'm aware of, sort of like in Victoria. Um, Australia and um, I always wanted to go to Queensland. I wanted to go to Movie World, Dream World, Sea World, you know, all the worlds. And um, I had an opportunity um, a few years back to go to Queensland uh, for a wedding and we we decided to just do it and um, save up and um, make a, uh, a go of it and we went to Dream World and it was the best time that I've had that I can recall other than the birth of my children. <laughs> I loved it. What can I say? I loved it. I, I, Yes. All right. Moving on. So let us see. Fact number thirty-five. Favorite childhood memory. Ooh. Let's see. I have a lot of memories from my childhood, and not all of them are good. Um, but I have to say that one of my favorite memories was actually with my mum, and. Um, we used to go down to the video store and we used to um, pick out a movie or two and then we would go down to the supermarket and pick up a whole bunch of munchies, um, chocolates and you know, just whatever. And we'd come home and we'd make up a big bed on the floor and we would use these big thick Greek blankets, I'm not Greek, but they had these big thick Greek blankets and lay them on the floor and we used to watch, um, we used to watch the movie and just munch out on um, uh, munchies all night. It was it was great. It was basic, but it was great. So um, I absolutely loved that. Now, don't ask me the name of this palette. It's got nothing on it. I actually got it for a course that I had done, and um, I'm going to take a shade out of here, um, which is this one here. It's kind of like a a blackened um, a blackened berry. I'm just going to deepen the inside of that corner um, just a little bit because that's the way. Uh huh. Uh huh. I like it. Yes. I am singing a KFC ad about makeup. I know, I know, that's weird and... Can I get into trouble for that? I think I can. I better cut that out, huh? Alright. So yes, I'm using a blackened berry from a palette that I have no idea what its name is and it probably needs to be thrown out just to deepen in the outer corner there. And I love this colour. I wish I knew what this palette is called. I wish I knew if I could get that single colour. I am trying to replace it because this palette needs to go in the bin. Now, I don't have many palettes, so the idea of throwing a palette in the bin, I'm not really looking forward to that. I've gotten a little bit too much on the outside edge here, so I'm actually just going to buff that out with um, another colour from that um, from that I Heart Revolution palette. Um, which is called Prevail. It's this little white one here. So I'm just gonna take that and just try and buff that a little bit. Yeah, like that. And just a little bit over here too so I can buff it out a bit. Alright, so what was I talking about? Where did we get in that? So, um, yeah, yeah. Munchies and movies and chilling with mum. And my stepbrother, um, and my stepfather at the time. So let's move on from that. Um, what is my fashion sense? Um, <laughs> fashion sense. Um, oh gosh. I don't know. I like different clothes. Like I don't want to be wearing something that somebody else is wearing downtown. Do you know what I mean? Like I don't want to go. I like different. I want to say that my style is not hippie, but. Um, Weird girl, not goth or anything like that, but just different, you know. I see something different and I'm like, nobody else is going to own that. I want it. So, yeah. I don't know what to call that. Um, nerdy? No? I don't know. I don't know. Just unique. Ha! Huh, that's a good one. There we go. Let, let's go with unique. Um, let me see. That was fact number 37. Ooh, this one. This one, um... This is a little problem that I had that I've grown up with and I never really did anything about it. But um, I don't like to eat in front of people. Not at all. Which is um, quite weird because I'm planning on doing a, a new series on my channel which is uh, Makeup vs Food where I'll be trying on 
a whole ton of different um, liquid lipsticks that are supposed to last all day and eating food to see whether they really last all day or not. So that's going to be really, really interesting. But unless I'm comfortable with that person, I really just don't like eating in front of people. In fact, uh, I just won't. I just won't. If I've been um, yelled at, I guess, by somebody or made to feel bad by somebody or somebody's watching me, it ain't going to happen. So yeah, there's an interesting fact for you. Let's go on. Fact number 38. I'm a list maker. I will make lists. In fact, I will make lists, lists for my lists. Um, uh, grocery lists, meal lists, daily chores lists, um, list of videos that I'm going to do, um, list of um, everything, lists. I love lists. So yes, all right, okay, let's, let's move on. That was a little bit cringy, wasn't it? All right, okay. 39. I'm still holding on to the hope that they bring back the Disney movies on free-to-air TV on Sunday nights. Do you remember those? it would come on and, and he, he, you'd forget about it, but next minute you'd hear... And you look over and you see like the, um, the castle and... I loved that. I loved that. I know Disney's no longer owned by the same people, but... <laughs> Bring it back. That that was a winner, man. And I mean, all the kids are on technology nowadays. They've got nothing to look forward to, you know? Like, do that. So, let's move on. Question number 40. Ooh, we've only got 11 left to go. I hate talking on the phone. It doesn't matter who you are. Don't take it personally. I don't like talking on the phone. Unless it's like, you know, it's going to be like a five minute call, like, you know, I'm just calling up to book an appointment or I'm just calling up to let you know very quickly because I don't want to wait for you, you know, for three hours to text me back to see, like, I'm coming over to your house, can I, are you home? I don't want to wait like three hours, I'm, I want to get in the car and I want to come over, you know? Um, but if it's going to be any longer than like a 10 minute call, and even 10 minutes is, is pushing it with me, I would rather text, Facebook message, um, leave a voicemail, I'm cool with voicemail, you know, because like they only usually go for like 60 to 90 seconds, but um, talking on the phone, unless I want like a quick answer and then get off, no, nah, just don't call me. No, not, not, yeah, you know, like, I'm not trying to be antisocial, I just really don't like talking on the phone. I can't look into your eyes, I can't, I can't connect with you like that, it's just a voice on the other end, so, yeah. But anyway, let's move on, let's put some more makeup on, because I've only got like ten things left. Now, um, what have I got on? Oh yeah, I've got the eyeshadow, you know what, that'll do for the eyeshadow. Let's put some of that, um, Becca Vanilla quartz that I told you that on the inner corner. It's not going to make that much difference, but it's just going to do that little, little bit extra just to make you feel special. So let's get um, a little tiny brush here. I like to use this little Eco Tools. What do you call this brush? This is... I can't even see it. I don't think it has a name, but anyway, it's this itty bitty one. And we're going to grab a little bit of this. Can you see that? Yeah. I'm going to tap it off just a little bit and... We're just going to stick it in here where the tear, is it a tear duct? I don't know, but anyway. I'm going to stick it in here and we're going to run it in just a little bit to the shade that I used from the palette and a little bit along here. Can you tell the difference from there? Anyway, do the same on this one. Just put it in there. Just want to open up that eye, brighten it just a little bit. Just like that. Hmm, I may even use that one on my nose just to go over that pink because like I said, that rose, I don't really want a rose nose so let's just tap a bit of that off and give that a little bit of a hmm, a bit on the cupid's bow. Maybe just a little bit above the brow bone. Mm, yeah, uh, let's sparkle today, eh? Whatever. Whatever. Bit there. Alright. So, let's move on to 41, yeah? Oh, when I was younger, I had pictures all over my walls. This is fact number 41. I had pictures all over my walls. You know when you cut out of magazines, you know, actors and all that sort of stuff, posters, music or anything like that? Um, I had all of those on my wall and I had them on there for a few weeks and I got paranoid and I ended up pulling them all down because it felt like that anywhere that I moved in the room, the eyes were like following me and it creeped me out and like, 
I had my bed laying here and the, up against the wall because I absolutely, you know, hated falling out of bed and I did do quite a lot when I was younger and um, so yeah, and they were right there and I was like, I couldn't do it anymore. So I pulled down all of my posters because I honestly believed they were watching me. So that, I was probably about, mm, yeah, 12 and 13 again. So, you know, I was going through some weird stages when I was 12 and 13, you know, <laughs> my dolls were alive. I, not that I had that many dolls, so I had like a Ken and a Barbie doll or something like that, but they were alive, trust me. They're just perfectly back in the same spot as soon as I opened my eyes. Yeah. Alright, 42. I hate seafood. Most seafood. Um, I like that fake crab. I know it's not crab. Um, let me see. What seafood do I like? I like flake, so shark. Um, fake crab sticks. Yeah, that's it. I can't stand raw seafood. I've, I've tried to eat an oyster. I tried to eat it raw. I've... I've, I've put a bit of um, lemon juice on it, I've just tried to swallow it, it went down, it came back up. Then they thought, well, okay, let's try and throw one on the barbie, throw some salt and pepper and some lemon and give it to her like that, chewed it, swallowed it, back up, nah, and okay, so I don't like them. And then I tried prawns and I put one in my mouth and I bit down and it exploded juice in my mouth and it was just like, no, no. <laughs> Um, tuna, I like tuna. That's cooked though, isn't it? Yeah, I like tuna, but it's got to be like um, mixed with some sort of like uh, sauce, some sort of savoury sauce or something like that. Um, but for the most part, I don't like seafood, uh, unfortunately, except for flake. That's, that's, I love flake, so. There you go. Question or fact number 43. I have arguments in the shower with other people that I think have got the shits with me or that I'm going to have a fight with um, and I'm so comfortable with um, myself and knowing what they're going to say to anything that I say that I will legitimately have a two-sided conversation in the shower and over and over and over until I work it out to the perfect scenario and most of the time, I shit you not, most of the time I will end up having that argument not started by me but it'll go exactly the way that I planned. And the only time that that sort of stuff doesn't work is when they sort of spring something on me that I just didn't see coming. Which doesn't happen very often, but it happens, and when it happens, it's not pretty. So, mm, I have arguments in the shower pretty much to make sure that it ends the best way possible for both of us involved, because I'm not a fighter. I can, but I don't want to. So, why do I don't want to waste my time on that? Let's put some more makeup on. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do my mascara, which I'm going to use this Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. Love this. When I first got it, I hated it. I hated it for the first two times I tried it. And then, just all of a sudden, just all of a sudden, like I learned how to use it or something, I now love it. And I hate that I love it because it means that I'm going to have to purchase it online. And yeah, so I'm going to put this on. And I can't exactly, well, look down, let me see. Fact number 44. Huh. I like weird combinations with food that people would think that I'm weird for. For example, one of my favourite food combinations is a peanut butter and cheese supreme Dorito sandwich. I don't know why. I don't think it's so much the flavour of the Doritos, more so the texture of the Doritos in the peanut butter sandwich. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, the flavour does have something to do with it. But it's not everything. Um, I like peanut butter and honey together. I don't think that's weird, sweet, and it's salty sort of thing. Um, yeah, I, I like a lot of weird combinations of food. I just can't think of any off the top of my head right now, other than the Dorito and peanut butter sandwich. So, what else have we got? My biggest flaw is what I've been told is also one of my biggest attributes, which is my empathy. I have more empathy, more empathy than I would like to admit when I see someone hurting, even if they've done wrong by me before. I'm empathetic and I want to help them. And I generally will. I need to dip this in again. I normally don't like to do my, my mascara on camera because it's quite difficult. So yeah, I have a lot of empathy and um, to the point where I'll generally put others first instead of myself, even if they really don't deserve it. 
I don't like to see people hurt. And if I can help, I always will. Unless I believe that it's not genuine. And um, even then, a lot of the time, I want to help just because I don't want to take the risk that it's not genuine, you know what I'm saying? So, that is why it's my biggest flaw, because people like to manipulate and um, abuse that with me. People who know that I'm very empathetic have tried before in the past to manipulate me with that, and um, I don't like that. And I generally know when they are trying to manipulate me, and I still will help them, just because it's that small percentage that they aren't lying, and they really do need help, so... What can I say? Alright, move on, move on. What do we got? Uh, my tolerance is different for everybody. So, which question is this? 46. My tolerance for everybody is different. So, let's just say, for example, that Frank um, always borrows my money and never gives it back. Um, I'm going to be at the point with him where if it happens over and over and over and over, I'm not going to loan him any more money and it's going to irritate me if he asks me for it because I know that he's not going to give it back to me. But just say George borrowed money um, and didn't give it back straight away or, you know, in a reasonable time and he did it once or twice opposed to the other bloke doing it like 40 times. I'm not going to be so frustrated with this one. I'm still going to be frustrated, don't get me wrong, because if I loan you money um, with the expectation that it's coming back whenever it's coming back, unless something really drastic has happened, you know, come on. I, but I'm not going to be as pissed with him as I was with him. You know, my tolerances are different with different people based on, you know, how they've treated me and how many times they've actually done me wrong by that. So, um, yeah, I don't sort of like, I won't snap at this partner because of something that my old partner did, you know. My tolerance, it's pretty much, on, on, you know, full for everybody and, yeah. I don't know if that's a fun fact or not, if everybody does that or not, but yeah, I just don't like punishing somebody else because somebody else has f***ed up with that in the past, so let's go to 47. Uh, oh, this one's a little bit touchy. Let me, how do I, how do I word this? <sighs> Talking about empathy. It's really, really hard for me to empathise for someone with someone who always acts like the victim. You know those ones? They always act like the victim. You know it. Oh God, they pour it on so thick. And, and I want to. This part of I just want to help them. I, I, but how can you help somebody who doesn't want to help themselves? You know, who just does it for attention. <sighs> I don't know which lipstick I want to wear today. I've got a few lately. And um, I've really been loving these um, Revlon um, HD Matte, I just dropped it, HD Matte Liquid Lips. And I've got two of them. I've got um, uh, one called um, Addiction, and that is the Ultra HD Matte Lip Colour. And then I've got another one in um, Death Valley, and that is the Hyper Matte. So, you know, we're going to go with Death Valley today, because I'm feeling it. So these are great. They're not... Um, long-lasting like the um, Maybelline ones and they're not as drying as the Maybelline ones either but they are fantastic so let's put this on this one's a little bit cooler than some other um, of the lipsticks that I have and I think that's what I love about it so You know, I'm glad I did this video because it is taking my mind off quite a lot of things and that's that's the whole reason why I wanted to do it. Just something a little bit low-key, you know. Mmm. Mmm. It's really sweet, those, as well. Like, they smell like, um, I don't know, like some sort of cake, some sort of cake, like sweet cake, sweet frosting or something. I don't know. But anyway, let's move on to fact or question 48. Ooh, this one's a little bit embarrassing. 
I've had my learner's license for 14 years, but I actually haven't gone and gotten my full license yet because I've never really needed to up until this point, you know. I, I've, I've lived in a smallish sort of town, and even when I wasn't in a small town, there was buses that pretty much took me everywhere that I wanted to go. I never needed my license, really. And um, I always made excuses on why I didn't need to go and get it, but this year is the year. So this year, it's going to happen. So... Let's go through with that because my makeup look, other than, you know, giving myself a little bit of a spritz with this Maybelline Master Face Studio Fix. Okay, it's like a setting spray, right? It works. I like it. So let me just, I don't like this bit, so. Mm. Oh gosh. It feels really, really nice. And then I just grab my beauty blender again. Oh, not my beauty blender, but like my Eco Tools blender. And I just sort of push down. If you've got dry skin, just giving it a bit of a spritz after that. I normally set with powder, but I didn't do that today because I was so distracted. So that is perfectly fine. That's pretty much how I'm going to have my look today. So let's finish off these questions here because I'm sure this video is already way too long. All right. So, all right. Fact number 49. I'm obsessed with vampires and I always have been and I probably always will be. When I was younger, I wanted to get these two teeth extended. I wanted them a little bit longer. I secretly kind of do, but I wouldn't do it now. I just, I love everything about them. You know, that sort of stalking. I just love it. I love it. I love the intensity of vampires, you know. So, yeah. Mm. I'm 33 and I love vampires. Alright, last fact or question. I love op shopping. I don't generally love clothes shopping, like, you know, in the retail stores and everything like that. But when it comes to op shopping, or like they call it in America, thrifting, I believe it is, I just love it. I love to go in there, I love to find all the different clothes. Um, the only thing I really don't like about op shops um, is that when it gets packed, that, you know, people don't really want to get out of the way. They feel like they're going to miss that one item of clothing that they've been looking for, because obviously there's not going to be like 10 of the same outfit, you know. Um, I'd love to just go to op shops that have just opened and nobody's there, like, you know, and just have the run of the house, I guess, so to speak. So, yeah, um, I'm not an aggressive shopper, but um, I love a good op shop, so <laughs> that's pretty much it, guys. That's my 50 facts about me, or my current 50 facts about me, and I think that was pretty fun. This is the end of my look as well. I mean, I'll put everything down below if I can remember. Um, it's not one of my best looks, but... It's multitasking, and it's the first one that I've ever really done. I've never really done a chatty get ready with me, so, um, yeah, it's a bonus, it's a bonus. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed listening, um, or if you got anything out of it, absolutely fantastic. Go ahead, feel free, give me a thumbs up, gets the video out there for anybody else to see. I'm pretty much tagging everybody. Everybody who sees this video, I'm tagging you to do your 50 facts. Um, I wrote mine out myself, just steal anyone, you know, facts about you, you... Don't be picky. There's not a like a particular list that you have to follow. This is a list that I made up myself, and um, yeah. So anyway, guys, if you haven't subscribed yet and you'd like to see more videos, I don't do generally a lot of tag videos, but um, I'm enjoying them, and um, I do do a lot of makeup and um, skincare sort of reviews and, and stuff like that. So if you want to see more of that, go ahead and um, subscribe. But make sure that you check the bell on the end because if you don't check the bell, you won't get notified of every video that I upload. And um, once again, thanks very much, guys, for sticking around, and um, I'll see you next time. Bye.